In Uganda, the infections that are causing the greatest worry of resistance to antibacterial drugs or diseases with the highest antimicrobial resistance are malaria, tuberculosis, HIV AIDS and some STDs. Health officials blame it on chronic drug misuse or failure to complete prescribed doses. Because of antimicrobial resistance, it is becoming increasingly difficult to control infectious diseases. For instance, there are currently about 120 cases of multi-drug resistant tuberculosis or MDR-TB in Uganda, the result of not completing TB treatment. In 2006, treatment of malaria was changed to artemisinin combination therapies after chloroquine, which had been used for long, began to fail. ACTs are now the first line for malaria treatment. Another emerging worry are ARVs which are failing to work, threatening Uganda's effort to contain the HIV-AIDS pandemic. These failures mean that Uganda has to resort to more expensive alternatives, which are beyond the means of most Ugandans. The, C the ACTs are so expensive now that the government is not yet in a position to provide enough money, enough money for these ACTs. Yet, with chloroquine, which was cheaper, would be in a position to do the same. Treating um, a single, a single patient with the drug-resistant TB can you treat as many as 100 patients with the, with the drug-sensitive TB. Okay, so just imagine that cost. Use of artemisinin is in combination therapies to prevent malaria parasites from developing resistance to it if used as a monotherapy. However, there are already signs that malaria is developing resistance to artemisinin, which could leave no effective option to treat malaria. The reason is as well due to frequent talkouts. When you talk about drug stockouts in the health uh, facilities, you are mentioning mainly a lack of malaria drugs, that is the ACTs. Treatment also gets more complicated when a healthy person picks an infection from a drug-resistant patient. Now the problem with this patient is that right from the word go, this patient will not respond to what we call first-line anti-TB drugs at all. That one right away starts, starts with the drug resistant what? TB. That's what we call primary resistance. The theme for World Health Day celebrations today was the issue of drug resistant infections, and the World Health Organization is now taking the fight against drug resistant infections seriously. Florence Nalimba, NTV Tonight.